the afterlife. This journey is not for the faint of heart, nor the wicked. I control the lives of all men, and those that are inhuman. If you still wish to seek me, be advised that you cannot make this journey more than once. You will go to any morgue in any city, state, or country. Ask any mortician there to see the most current customer. Should a look of disgust and disbelief come over him, thank him for his time, take a bow, turn around, and walk. Do not run, walk calmly out of there. I know your time as I know everyone's, and it has not come yet. Should a look of understanding come over him, he will leave the room and return with a large French chef's knife, two surgical needles with thread, and a gold bar. He will also roll in a fresh body and a medical book. Put down the needle on the roller, stab the knife over the body's head, and stand facing the top of the body with the bar in your hand. Do whatever with the book. It is only a book. You must wait until the mortician leaves the room, which will be quite a long while. Before he leaves, he will state the scientific name of a location in the body, and will take his leave. Stand until the mortician leaves the room, and do nothing until he does. When he leaves, Look in the book for the name of that place in the body, and use the knife to split that part of the body open. Place the gold bar in that part, and thread it up. Only one of the needles will completely remove the scar, so choose wisely. Do all this while holding a stoic expression on your face. After you have completed your task, the room will go dark, and you must yell in a clear voice, See, I have prepared a gift for you. Take what is yours. I will then appear in all my unearthly glory and judge. If you had a reaction from any time the mortician left the room up until the lights went dark, or the scar remains, your soul will be mine to take as well as the gift, and you will both be taken to my lair. If your face was stoic throughout, and if the scar healed, I will unwrap my present with my great scythe, searching for the bar. Remain with a lack of expression on your face, or I will decapitate you. Not so bad an end as to others in this journey. When I find it, I will smile. And when I smile, a bright light will flash, and the room will reappear, shockingly different. I describe to prepare you. The room will be constructed out of dead children and toddlers, their eyes gone, and blood ebbing out of their mouths. They will be cemented together with a black substance slowly enveloping them. They will writhe and cry for their mummy and daddy. Blood will replace their tears. You cannot close your eyes or show emotion, lest I judge you to be unworthy and will take you to Tartarus. There will be one baby in front of you, dead normal, with a scalpel in its head. Perhaps you will recognize it. After half a minute of this horror, if you remain sane, it will be time for the third test. A dark, twisted version of this world shall appear, inhabited by the damned. Where we appear, there will be a strange, smooth stone field with one three-foot pillar in the center. I shall reappear 
and throw you a wicked dark knife carved with symbols. You must stab the end of your forefinger with it. You will feel unbearable pain in your finger, but be pleased that I have lessened the pain for you. Otherwise you would have had pain throughout your body. You must bear the pain, however, and though the blood will not clot the finger, you will not run out of blood, for you are in my realm. After which you must draw me a pentagram, six feet circumference, with the tip of the star pointing to me. Make sure it is good. I am a ruthless judge. You are allowed to plan and measure. When you are done, I shall look upon it. One of two things will happen. One, I turn and close my eyes in disgust. If this happens, the pentagram will catch a blaze. As your blood on the ground burns, so shall the remaining blood in your body. Your veins shall burn for all eternity in the center of the pentagram, the pain never leaving. Two, I like your art and smile. I will turn to you and smile. My eyes will blacken. Dark, shadowy tendrils will come from my mouth and form a hellish grin. You will realize that the same is happening to you and that I have just infected you with my disease. When the blackening will cease to flow from your body, it will have turned night. Stare only at the pentagram. A demonic audience is watching you, and they tend to rip people to shreds if they look at them, so keep your gaze fixed upon the pentagram. They will dance around you in a devilish flurry, taunting you, mocking you, spitting on you, and the like. If you remain stoic, then they will leave. After they have all left, the blackening will return and ignite a random number of candles around the pentagram. Count and remember this number. It will serve you well at the end. The light will return and you will awaken outside of the morgue around midday. The cut on your finger will have healed and it will be the exact number of candles that will dictate how many days have gone by. You will notice a dark ooze on the ground in front of your face and sticking in your clothes. The blackening has followed you. You now hold the power to summon the blackening within you at will, the same you saw in my face during the third test. The ones who gaze at your face when it appears will slowly be consumed by the blackening, the disease. Every time you summon the blackening, you will feel the pain you felt on your finger over your whole body increased tenfold. The disease is Object 50 or 538. With it, you can blacken anyone, even the immortal.